same old problem. Okay, I had to sleep on this one, guys. This one's been on my mind all night. Okay, and that rarely happens. All right, uh, recap, recap. Where we leave off at? Oh, I ended up. Well, the goal was to get the car to shut off. Remember, I can't turn the car off with the key. You turn it off, the car's still running. Okay, and it's running bad on top of that. So I end up taking the battery cables off, hoping the car would stall out but obviously the alternator kept the whole electrical system running so what we did was end up removing uh the fuel pump fuse we essentially started the car out of fuel so the car would die and shut off i can't leave it here running overnight while i went home so what we're gonna do now uh start from scratch okay uh i erased all the codes last night um uh, so I'm going to put these fuses back in here so we can get the car back running, connect the battery. And what we're going to do is finish off where we left off at, uh, in so many words, okay? We're going to go look at some, uh, now after overnight, see when I go home guys, sometimes I tend to take homework home with me, okay? I mean, I have to do uh, research and look things up after hours because during normal hours, uh, I am, my brain is everywhere, okay? So when I can... I know you shouldn't take work home with you. I'm aware of that. But sometime in this industry, at least, uh, you have no choice. So that's exactly what I had to do. And here I am preaching about don't use any electric drill on these type of battery clamps. Guys, don't do that. Uh, I'm just trying to. Matter of fact, I didn't talk, talk it down real tight. I just need a good, decent connection. Because I want to get all my power back. And we're going to go to my scan tool and, uh, and see... Uh, what was generated alright so what I'm going to end up doing it, I'm going to have to start the car so I can get a DRB read I'm going to start it up and uh, we're going to go there you go it runs alright alright let's see uh, probably won't shut off let me see so let me get in it the car is running Car is still running. Look here, y'all. Freaking car is still running. Here's the key in my hand. All right, so let's go over to the scan too. Let me put this. Look at all the dash light out. Something is really jacking with this bus, and I got a pretty good idea what it is. But y'all, we gonna go through some troubleshooting, some diagnosis. Uh, let me put the key back in here. Okay, I got my power up now. Deleted all the codes to see what kind of fresh start we have this morning. Whoa, so guys, well, at first they all read now, but at first the ABS was read offline, guys. This could very well be our problem. This is what could be knocking out can see. All right, so now you see, um, well, you can't hear it. The car is over there. Look. Some mode, some some buses came up. The car is over there running, guys. Actually, it's rescanning for some reason. Something is, because this was down first, I highly suspect this being our problem. Wow. Okay, here's what we're going to do, guys. Look, now it's back up. The car, I haven't moved. Now it's back down. So this ABS module is jacking up. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to pull it off the network. I'm going to take it out of the bus. We need to find out. Now, a couple of ways you can do this. Unplug it. And that just knocked out the uh, it just knocked out the ORC. Let's do this, guys. I'm going to go over here and uh, we're going to try to get this ABS module. There you go. They all read again. All right. Hold tight. Let's follow me, guys. All right. Uh, car's still running. Everything's crazy. All right. ABS module. This is the ABS module. What we need to do... To get it off of the bus. Is that a factory ABS module? Aftermarket? I can't tell. Now, normally, typically, we will unplug them and take them off the bus that way. But this connector is really a pain in the butt to unplug. So the other option you have at taking a module, killing the module, essentially what we're trying to do, get it offline. You have another way at your disposal, guys, and it is... Uh, you gotta snatch power away from it. So what I need to find out is what 
feeds the ABS module. I need to snatch away the fuse, that particular fuse that feeds the ABS module. That is another way, that is another option you have instead of unplugging it, especially when the connector is jammed in there like that. I can't get in there to unplug it. So I'm going to snatch away power. Now, wow, where's my fuse cover? I need to find out which one is the ABS fuse. Okay, guys, let me grab my fuse cover and we're going to find out which one. We're going to snatch, we're going to take ABS off of the, oh, here's the fuse cover right here. We're going to find out which one controls ABS and snatch it offline. I'm sure it's one of these big fuses. Uh, J7 actually is. Yes, ABS module. Let's let's take uh, take power away from the ABS module. That would take it off the bus. Okay, my fan went off. All right, so let me see. So I'm gonna turn the key. Uh, of course the ABS light on. Where's the key? What do you know? Y'all see that? The car is off. I ain't gonna change camera angles or nothing. Y'all see that? Well, you can't see. There's no belts. The car is not running, guys. You don't hear anything. You don't hear anything. You have to go by verbal uh, 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 sound. The car is not running. Yes! Hold on before I get too excited. Okay. The car, the key is still in the niche. Key on. Car starts. And turn the key off. Ah, whoo, car shuts off. Now, so essentially what we did, guys, was we pulled, we found the module that was killing KNC. KNC is very important. KNC is pretty much essential. <laughs> KNC bus, that's where all the PCM, remember the first day I worked on this car? Nothing was online. And the car was running, the PCM was even red. So the ABS can knock out different modules and still let the car run i might do some more research on that but for now let me go look at my topology again guys all right guys i'm back at the computer and as you can see yes the abs only the abs module is offline right now and i know why for one reason i have i snatched the power supply away so Rightfully so, it should be offline, but it now it's not affecting any other module. Remember earlier, these modules was going in and out, so you basically have to figure out what's corrupting the network. And in this case, ABS module was corrupting KNC. Now, here's my whole problem with this, guys. Uh, KNC is pretty much essential, right? You got to have the PCM to run. You got to have the wireless control module to run. ORC, I guess you need airbag, a safety reason, okay, but ABS, guys, I don't know what Chrysler, Fiat, whoever designed this was thinking. This should be over here in Can B. Anything in Can B, if any of these modules go down, you can still run because you have the essentials over here in Can C. All right? Can B is, to me, just accessories. <laughs> If you ask me, now ABS is important, but if ABS go down, you still have base breaks. What was these guys thinking? ABS, in my opinion, should be in can B. All right, wouldn't have these problems because this can shut the car down. This car, this van was towed in, y'all. So in order for me to get it in, I had to pull some trickery. It's actually the customer, the tow truck driver, had to ship the cable off. So I wasn't getting no signal to even start the car because the car was in reverse. I didn't know it. And I had to I had to do some pre-diagnosing outside before I even brought the car in. Finally got it started and it ran like crazy. So once I got in, I went from there. But uh, this new system, this new network setup, computerized everything is uh, will drive you crazy. But it is a necessity in order to keep up with uh technology all right so i'm gonna wrap this video up what i'm gonna do is order or try to sell them an abs module i'm not gonna keep this video open and show how to replace it i can do that on another one but we'll call this the diagnostic troubleshoot all right um the moral of the story video i guess is uh we had a module corrupting can see 
causing all kinds of problems. And I, I did capture all the fault codes and I will put them in the description uh, if that helps, guys. All right, so I'm going to end this right here. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video.